Hi, everybody. This is Gat Saad. This hopefully will constitute my third and final installment in my Cambridge University uh, conversation regarding the uh, Jordan Peterson uh, case. Uh, earlier today, I read the statement issued by the vice chancellor of uh, Cambridge University. And as I was thinking about his statement, I contrasted his position to that that I hold as a free speech absolutist. And let me here explain, <clears throat> excuse me, what I mean by a free speech absolutist. I don't believe in a concept such as hate speech. People can be hateful, people can be grotesque, people can, can say diabolically bad things, but in a free society that has to be allowed. You can't incite direct violence against people. You can't defame people, you can't engage in libel, you can't uh, scream fire in the proverbial theater. But short of that, people are allowed in a free society to hold truly reprehensible positions. So let's put that to the test. Some of you have heard me say that so someone like me with my personal history, and I'm not going to repeat it here, but you know what my personal history is in terms of religious uh, persecution coming out of Lebanon, I support the right of Holocaust deniers to spew their nonsense. There is no greater test of freedom of speech, right? Uh, the most grotesque episode in history whereby people were exter exterminated at industrial scale level simply because of their religious heritage and where the Nazis were certainly well on their way to achieving the final solution where we have infinite amount or near infinite amount of historical evidence for that event. I support the right of Cretans, of enemies of reason, of truly grotesque people to stand up and say, no, the Holocaust didn't happen. So if I'm able to accept in my defense, if a free speech, if my universal principle is that freedom of speech is a fundamental that simply cannot be, there can't be a, I believe in freedom of speech, but dot, dot, dot. Then the vice chancellor at Cambridge University, is he not able, first of all, to question whether the concept of Islamophobia has any meaning in a free society? People have a right to fear any ideology. People have a right to criticize any ideology. Nobody is saying that uh, you should hate individual uh, Muslims, but you can certainly question their beliefs hate their beliefs, mock their beliefs, ridicule their beliefs, but not just their beliefs. You can, you can do so for communism or Judaism or Christianity or any other cherished belief. That's what makes it a free society. So the idea that Cambridge University, where so many giants of human reason walked those halls, now are willing by sartorial guilt by association, right? Remember, the idea was that Peterson took a photo with a guy wearing a t-shirt, I'm a proud Islamophobe. That was enough through sartorial guilt by association to rescind the offer to Peterson. Contrast that with the position I'm taking. I believe in the right of Holocaust deniers to deny the Holocaust openly. That's what freedom of speech is. Take care, everybody.